Hello there! Once again, this is Anton from Antonimo Bay, and today I'm showing off another comic book series uh, that I didn't know existed until like literally like a month or two ago. This is Image Comics Dart. Uh, first off, I saw the cover in some other lot of comics, and I was like, ooh, do I want to buy the whole lot just to check out that one comic? No, I think I'll just look it up. Uh, I saw these on eBay, they were 10 bucks for the lot for like three books. And I just put watch on it, and the dude like submitted me an offer later that day for five bucks for all of them. And I was like, well, hell yeah, I'll take that. Five bucks for three comics. You know, it was a couple bucks to ship it, but still. For a book that I haven't heard of, I'll take it. I love the, the ad on the back. I noticed that it has uh, Jim Lee's Ninja Turtles in it, which if you've never seen those, you should. For some reason, he never made a Leonardo, but it is what it is very strange they were like a sister line to the savage dragon action figures that they used to make so that's that's that anyway the book itself is surprisingly good i kind of didn't think it would be so good it is literally about action figures for the most part so you have you have a superhero team who has licensed themselves out to a company and they're being marketed as action figures except the the company insists that they need like a different character so they took another superhero from another town and added them to their action figure roster well and the team was like we don't even know who that is why is she in our action figure line and they were like oh because she's more relatable than you guys and all this stuff anyway that's how uh, the character dart becomes tied in with another superhero group was through action figure licensing and of course the just the banter between the uh, the action figure executive guy and the heroes themselves and how they're sculpted and everything like that it's pretty good stuff and they give each of these issues has just amazing pinup work pinups in the middle Nothing too racy or, or crazy, but this is this is your title character Dart. This is I think the name is Blood Orchid, is the name of the group. But just really really cool art. It's it's on the weird side, but it's it's certainly not a style that I have seen before. There's probably better example of it on this cover. You can see it's extremely exaggerated, but also kind of got that faded paint in thing oh blood chick was the name of the group not blood orchid anyway dart was just as pissed about being added to their team as they were just in their action figure marketing turns out the the villain team that they fight also has action figure licensed through the same company so of course they're fighting about that it kind of gives off a bizarre gem and the holograms type feel at times but the art is straight out of i don't know what it's just weird it's almost caricaturish but not because sometimes they look almost normal and then sometimes it just gets blown like way out of proportion Anyway, I've been really fascinated by it. It's a short series, only ran three issues. It, it, of course, the covers are great. And as far as Image goes, this was 96. So Image has been trucking along for a bit. But I have, honestly, I keep thinking, I've never seen anybody draw like this. It's almost got a hint of that. If you've seen some of those like old uh, mangas where people look kind of like the weird looking mangas where their eyes are way too big, way too big, almost like Bratz dolls. But that is still a head of, hell of a, I mean, that's amazing work. It's creepy, kind of, but it also is cool looking. I don't know how I feel about it, but I, I think I like it, so. Let's see. Definitely over exaggerated. But yeah, just 
every, you guys know I'm a huge action figure collector, so having a comic that's about action figures and, and all that stuff, I just totally loved it. Anyway, it's only three issues. I don't want to drag it on forever, but um, it's a book that if you are into looking for something weird and different, um, this would be weird and different. I recommend it. Anyway, that's my story. Catch you guys later. Bye.